All right, before I start this video, I wanted to introduce this boat. I've had this in some previous videos. It is called the Super Snark or the Sea Snark. The company that made these to this day has made over half a million of this style of build. In 1976, they made the most boats out of any company ever up until that time. They're under the radar and I really like this one. I've traveled over 5,000 miles with this on the road and I've sailed it in open ocean lakes, sheltered waterways, and I really like this boat. It's a lot of fun, it's light. This is where the main sheet starts. It loops through the boom and comes back. I had a cam cleat on this traveler. Use this for the main sheet. And on the jib sheets, I have these little cam cleat miniature versions of the other main sheet and those clip right there on either side. This is for the halyard mainsail and then that was where I would cleat in the rolling furling whether it was rolled or in or out and this is the new rudder I just built it's a little bit more surface area than the other one and the original centerboard I painted it red because I wanted to keep the sun off of the wood and preserve it as long as possible I did break the original rudder that's why I built a new rudder and then of course that little trailer is, it's not even needed. You can put it on a car by hand without trailing it, but the trailer's nice.
this eyelid on the bowsprit that allows the furling line to be directed downwards in one direction and freely upwards in the other direction. So as this spools, this one forces downwards as it rolls either direction. I just realized that I had the main sheet set up wrong. And on the fly, I've got this bungee for steering, and I was able to reattach the main sheet how it's supposed to, and now I have two to one. Way easier. Really moving. 